I'm telling you, it was here! It drove by while you were talking! You had your back turned, and it went zoom right behind you! Well, it really sounded like... That's not the important part of the story, Donut! Sure, Simmons, I believe you. You saw an enormous tank that appeared miraculously, and then just as quickly disappeared. And you're the only one that can see it. Just like signs of Donut's heterosexuality! No, I'm not! Donut saw it! Yeah. Donut's impressionable. He'd agree with anything you said. Yeah. Oh, hell, he'd eat a spoonful of dirt if you told him it tasted like chocolate. <gasps> that's not true! <laughs> so that's where you draw the line? No, I mean, it's not true that dirt tastes like chocolate, right? Seriously, right? Okay, well, Griff saw it too. We all saw it. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see a damn thing. What? Tank, you say? I have no idea what you're talking about. I was too busy paying attention to our sergeant while he gave us our orders. Oh, really? Well, what did he say? Something inspiring about beating the blues and the bass or the flag or, or something. I'm pretty sure he mentioned the polecat, too. I was getting a little emotional at the end. You see, Simmons? Some soldiers know how to pay attention. Wow. That might be the first time you've ever actually complimented. Shut up, dirtbag. Griff, you just told us all two minutes ago that you saw it. Yeah, I know, but it's a lot more fun this way. Ah, uh, man, I just cannot fucking stand the idea of my body laid in there. <laughs> you never look better. Hey, shut up, Andy! You know, we could have taken that alien out if I'd have hit him just a few more times. A few more times? How about one time? Well, I think I landed at least two or three shots. Yeah, right. You didn't hit anything but the wall. How the hell would you know? You were running straight backwards. This is a long-range weapon, okay? I need distance to use it effectively. Where were you planning on shooting him from? The fucking moon? If you'd have backed up any further, you'd have had to mail him the bullets. You know what? I work better alone. You ladies stay here. I'll be back in two minutes with that thing's head on a platter. Does it ever bother you that the most take-charge guy on our team is a girl? Not at all. As long as I get my body back, I don't care if I'm a hero. What? <laughs> well, Church, you're kind of a long way from hero. Wouldn't it have been better to say, I don't care if I'm a participant? Or maybe bystander? Shut up. Or a decoy. Hey, Caboose, don't help him, okay? Hey, she's going in. You guys think she can take him? Oh, crap. Nope. <laughs> something with you. And you can't let Simmons know. Whatever. I think that Simmons has gone mad. It's probably some kind of time travel post-traumatic repetitive stress syndrome. In scientific terms, he's developed cranial insanitosis. Basically, he's gone bonkers. Sarge, I'm not crazy. I really saw a tank. And apparently he's developed some kind of mutant telepathy power. Clear your mind, Griff. He can hear your thoughts! No, you guys just left your mics on again. I keep telling you not to do that, because you're just wasting the batteries. Oh, and guess who we charge- Clearly he's sabotaging us with his superior technology. Griff, I need you to step up to the plate. You're my number two man now. Does that mean more work? Of course. You'll have to do Simmons' regular duties on top of the responsibilities I normally entrust you with. So basically just Simmons' duties, then? Right. Luckily, we still have Donut. So no one has to fill in his shoes. Donut! Combat situation! Yes, sir, I'm on it. What a pro. Simmons, I mean Griff! Establish a perimeter! Huh? What's that? Make a border around us, and make sure no enemy crosses it. Ugh, that sounds like a lot of effort. Can't I just go back to being number three again? Number three? What do you mean, number three? All right, Donut. Can I go back to being number four, then? And Lopez. Fine. I'll be number five. I don't care. I don't know. That O'Malley guy can really work a rocket launcher. But he's the enemy. I'm not real particular. I get to work on that perimeter. Bogey approaching. Sir, I really think we should be looking for that tank. Hold on a minute. Let's just take it easy there, Private First Class Dick Simmons. But I... Hey, what? Why did you use my full name? Riff. What 
Captain Sam, how are you doing? I secured your perimeter, sir. Now I'm gonna go over to the chow hall and secure some Oreos. I got a diet to keep up. Break time. Honeymoon's over, Num Nuts. You're back down to number seven. Oh yeah? Well, I saw the tank too. Maybe Caboose should try talking to him. Uh, what would I say? Start with some common ground. Like how you both killed Church. Hmm, good times. You know what, I actually like that idea. You do? Well, think about it. While our ambassador here is either being A, eaten by the alien, or B, digested by the alien, you and I can sneak back in and get our bodies. I would make an excellent ambassador. Because I am very shy! Get away from me, freak! You know, if that word's too hard to pronounce, you can just call yourself bait. There's my body. Oh yeah, hey, look, there's your body. <laughs> you, you really didn't make it very far, did you? You know, I wonder, if, if I killed a ghost, would it come back as a ghost of a ghost? Yeah, that's a good point, I'll shut up now. Hey, Andy. Say, have you seen... It's a, a big, uh, slimy, like, alien-looking thing. It's, uh, it's shaped just kind of like that shadow that's on the ground next to you. Oh, 